Right. Guys! 47 seconds. 45! Oh my god. I'm so excited. Chat, I'm so fucking excited. The music! The goddamn music. Oh. Guys, are you ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Um. Um. <laughs> um. <laughs> well, uh... <laughs> My God, these guys! I swear to God, really? Does it work now? Does it work? Yeah. Is it... yeah. Okay. 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 That's good. Yeah. Should we want to do it again? No, I think it's fine. Okay. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hey everyone, love my these name's guys. Jace, and I'm Snood. And we're the community managers of Coffee Stain Studios, and today we're happy to say that Update 5 is now available on the experimental branch of the game. This is true. And in today's video, we're going to be going through some of the new features that are coming to Satisfactory in Update 5. For a lot of stuff that we'll be showing off today, there'll be additional videos with more information. So be on the lookout for cards up above to learn more about those things. Now, a lot of features have been requested over on our QA site, but by far the fastest growing requested feature on the site has been for us to add the ability to play golf into Satisfactory. Are we actually going to add golf to the game though, Jace? <laughs> no, but we thought in the spirit of things, we at least go out and play some real life golf while we talk about the updates that are coming to the game. Wow, can't wait. Let's go. I knew they was going to do this. Hole one, par three. I goddamn knew it. You know what, dude? Why don't we make this a little bit interesting? How about we put a little wager on the game? Okay, uh, what did you have in mind? How about if I win, we add golf to the game? Uh, how about if I win, we finally release dedicated servers? Ooh. All right, you're on. It's gonna be a draw. It's gonna be a draw. Well. You've uh, played before, right? Uh, yeah, 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 pff, yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> uh, so we made some changes to the build system in Satisfactory. <laughs> Oh, in Update God. 5, we're introducing soft and hard clearance oh, for buildables. God. Any building with functionality such as constructors, assemblers, power poles, splitters, the hub, etc. will have hard clearance, and any cosmetic pieces, conveyor belts, and pipes will have soft clearance. Any two buildables with hard clearance will not be able to be built clipping into each other, just as before. However, objects with soft clearance will now be able to be built clipping into other buildings. This will give players a little more freedom as to how you want to build your factories, where previously you'd be limited by the old clearance system. Whether you actually want your build pieces to clip or not is totally up to you, and if this is something that bothers you, then you'll still be notified by the game when soft clearance clipping occurs. Another addition to the build system is that we've improved the quick switching system when placing buildables. Previously, when holding E, you'd be prompted this radial wheel of similar build types of whatever hologram you have selected. Yep. And it's now possible to simply tap E so you can cycle through that selection to more quickly be able to swap between different foundation heights, conveyor belt variants, or machine types. <sighs> hey, Jace. How are you there? You want some zoop? What? You want some zoop? <laughs> What are you talking about? Tired of building one foundation block at a time? I know I am. Then just switch build modes and zoop. Zooping will make building much faster as you're now able to place up to 10 build pieces at a time. 
Zooping isn't available for manufacturing buildings, but you can use it for foundations and most of the cosmetic build pieces by just dragging them out either horizontally or vertically. Before I take my shot, how about I tell you about all the new cosmetic build pieces coming to the game? We love what y'all have done with your factories with what little you've had, but what if you had more? Well, in Update 5, we're adding more cosmetic build pieces. With the update comes everything from slanted oh, walls, more noise. windows, new frame <laughs> types, corner walls, smaller pillars, and beams! Yeah, I, I was gonna get to that. We've also updated the look of the walkways, added walkway stairs, and one of the most requested features, ramp railing. <laughs> wow. Them doors, <laughs> though. Oh, this is the worst day of my life. Uh, I'm just gonna thank you so much for the team. What are you watching? Oh, I'm just watching an ad for the new customizer we're adding to the game. The what? customizer? Are you tired of using the overly simplistic color gun? Are you finding the process of setting the color for every single foundation or wall piece tedious? Wish there were more cosmetic options for foundations, walls, and roofs? Hi there, Snitty Mate here. <laughs> and I'm Juice Velvet. And we're here with another fantastic product for you. Introducing the Customizer, a completely revolutionary way of adjusting the look of your walls, foundations, and roofs. All right, watch this, okay? The build menu has been expanded with an additional tab where you can pick a variety of materials for your buildables and more. Watch the cursor here, okay? Pick any material you want and just paint away. Gone are the days of having to painstakingly color in every single foundation piece. It's easy as that. Oh now I know God. what you're thinking. Can we just place the build piece with the material I wanted from the get-go? Boy, howdy can you. Simply select the material type you'd like the buildable to have and build away. You can even bind the material to your hotbar if you're on the go. Now look, I know what you're thinking. What about colors? We got you covered. Bam, they're right there in the customizer too. Can you believe it? I certainly can't. Color gun, more like Are you color gone. Serious? Deleted, removed from the game. You don't need that shit anymore when you got the customizer. Set up your color, select it, and paint away. Now I know what you're thinking. Can we set the colors to the hot bar too? Absolutely. What a deal. But wait, there's more. Order Ooh. now, and we'll throw in the addition to be able to paint foundation Roots. stencils. These stencils come in a variety of different symbols and markings that you can paint on your foundations Holy to give your factory shit. floor that informative look. Numbers, icons, symbols, we got you covered. There's too much information. Yo, Jace, how's it going? Fuck off. <laughs> While Jace makes his way down the fairway, let me talk a little bit about the changes we're making to the vehicle automation system. There's been a huge update to automated vehicle pathing and the systems surrounding them. Previously, automated vehicles would drive blindly at their next waypoint without considering where they'd be going next. But now, vehicles will take the next waypoint into consideration when driving, making their pathing much more reliable. We've also introduced a basic obstacle avoidance system to handle cases where vehicles might run into something in their path. Vehicles won't completely recalculate their route, but they'll do their best to get going again. And in the cases where vehicles oh, do get completely stuck, then as a last resort, vehicle ghosting will make sure that vehicles stays on track. They're not the only changes we've made to the vehicles, though. Oh, hey, Jace. Did you make it up to the green yet? <laughs> Shut up, Snit. We've added the ability to save and load recorded vehicle paths. Yep, we now know Now you this, won't need this. to re-record an entire route whenever you want to add another vehicle to it. Saved routes can only be loaded by vehicles of the same type. Also, routes now need to be a closed loop, meaning that they start and end on the same node. Truck stations have also gotten an update. It's got a new model, and we've added another input and output slot, so the throughput has doubled. Also, fuel consumption at truck stations is now a lot smarter as vehicles will only take and consume the amount of fuel needed to complete a full loop. We've also <laughs> updated the UI for the truck stations with additional information shit, such as average fuel consumption <laughs> and delivery throughput. Oh, and by the way, you can paint vehicles now. Let's fucking go! So melanizing our vehicles. Let's go. Uh, you all right, Snit? Oh, it's uh, it's nothing. It's just uh, 
This is some troll on the internet going by Dark Angel 69 who's been uh, writing some weird shit about me. Oh, like what? Oh, it's it's nothing. It's just like they they wrote about how like I, that I don't know how to set up coal power plants and uh, it's just a bunch of nonsense. Yeah, really. I've had that as well. I've had people saying oh, I don't like his coal power plants. I don't give a fuck. It's my factory. <laughs> That's no good, man. That's uh, right in the woods. All right, let's go look for it, I guess. And I have no idea where we are. This is a pretty sweet forest, though. Which reminds me, we've updated the northern forest in the game. Northern forest has gotten a facelift. Oh, good. Time, and it's looking prettier than ever. There's also been some rework in regards to lighting and fog. There's very minor changes to the landscape, but the foliage has changed significantly. And if you've built anything in Northern Forest, then expect to see some trees and bushes stick up in your factories. But that's nothing your trusty old chainsaw can't fix. Dune Desert is also getting a bit of an update. There's a few changes so to the cliffs, there's a new crater, a couple new rocks, nothing too major. But we haven't made any changes to the resource nodes there, so they'll all still be in the same place. You're also going to see a change to some of the caves in the game. They've got a much more rich and mystical vibe to them now. Not all of the caves will have changed in Update 5, but the goal is to give this kind of treatment to all of the caves in the game moving forward. Man, we are hella lost. Yeah. Hmm. We are lost. Do you know where no, we are? No, 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 no. <laughs> all right, look, we already done that bit, all right? We're actually lost this time, all right? Yeah. So We need some kind of like object with like information on it, you know, that we can... <gasps> oh my God. It's beautiful. Science! Better late than never, but we're finally adding science to the game. There's more to them than just fancy letters on a flat surface, so strap in. Signs come in various sizes and layouts. You can make small signs and you can make big small. signs. You can also <laughs> pick and choose between many different types of layouts and icons to fit your every need. Signs can be placed on storage containers, walls, or just by themselves in the wild. I was looking for president. Ugh. The Dark Angel 69 again? Like, listen to this shit, alright? I'd rather watch paint dry than listen to another word from the fake community manager that looks like PewDiePie's old Swedish uncle. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? I think it landed over there somewhere. I'm not that old. Why is there a train track going through here? I don't know. But it is kind of topical though, because we're adding signaling systems and collisions to the trains. Jo -jo! Ever since we introduced trains to the game back in the day, we've oh, been wanting God. to get around to adding a signaling system, and we're finally doing it. There are two types of train signals, block signals and path signals. Block mm -hmm. signals can be placed along the train tracks to create sections of your track where only one train can pass at a time. But if you're a train aficionado, then you'll find that you'll need more complex solutions for your layout. For that, we have path signals. Path signals are used to reserve a path through a block so you can create safe, collision-free intersections. So what happens if you don't make use of the signals? Holy <laughs> crap! Damn. There's also been an update on how the timetables work. You can now create some basic logic for what your train should do when it stops at any given station. So you might have a train only stop for a limited amount of time or wait until it's fully loaded, and you can also control what resources it should load or unload. Yep, 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 yep. This can aid in managing congestion on your train lines. Oh, hey, Snoot, I found the ball. Should I play it where it lies? Let's just uh, go to the next hole. They're so gonna draw. All right, dude, last hole. We said this and, right uh, at the beginning. Yeah, now that we added signs, it's a lot easier to keep track of the scorecard. Oh, f shit. 
Uh, well, it's, it's no biggie. I'm still ahead by a lot. He's gonna catch up now, isn't he? No! I think I'm getting the hang of this. Pizza! What the? Come on! No! This is so gonna draw! You. Fucking ass! Uh, Snoop, what's wrong? You're usually so calm and composed. It's just the, uh, the, the, the comments, man. Like, I, I just got this from, from Dark Angel 69, right? Factura is a way better game than Satisfactory. Snoot sucks. <laughs> Folks, I know you all want me to win for dedicated servers, but at what cost? <laughs> Not like this. Send Snoot some love. You know what? I'm, I'm feeling a little bit better here. I think I got this. What the f Chat, stop! Too much! Easy there, Grandpa! Alright, Jace, even after my big mess up, it seems like you're still two strokes behind from a tie. Which means, you need to sink this to win. Wait, what happens if we tie? Well, I guess we won't add golf or dedicated servers. Wait, what? There, there's no way we're going through this whole rigmarole of having a bet, only to end up not adding either of them? Or both? Or both? <laughs> there's, there's no way I can sink this. I'm so useless at golf. You can do it, Chase. What the? Oh, for uh, fuck's what? sake. Is that you, God? Eh, yeah, close enough. Oh That's my. not important. Really? What matters is that you believe in yourself. For but fucking I'm hell. Trash. I know, but you got this. Believe in yourself. You can do it. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. No! He's gonna smash it. <laughs> you fucking serious? That was really close, huh? Well, guess we're not adding either of them now. That's convenient. Tough luck, buddy. Wait, wait, wait! Look! Wait! No! Come on, Doggo! Open it! Let's see. Ah! I won! I won! <laughs> this can't be happening! Oh, oh shit! Yeah. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> the void! Holy fuck! It's been some time now, yes, but we're finally releasing an experimental version of dedicated server support. And when we say experimental, we I'm mean experimental. And we're pretty sure there's still a bunch of bugs when playing on the I dedicated servers, but at least they're out there now. So y'all can help us by trying them out and sending us your feedback. Wow, what a day. That's a lot of stuff wow. coming to Update 5, Snoot. Sure is, Jace. But this video only covers some of the features in Update 5. There's still a ton of quality of life features, optimization, and bug fixes coming to the game. So make sure to check out the patch notes in the description below to learn more about that stuff. That's right, and if you check the cards above, there'll be a separate video for the state of dedicated servers, how to get them, and how to use them. So definitely give that a look too. Hope you'll enjoy Update 5. It's a bummer that we weren't able to add any golf yet. Actually, you know what I learned today, Snoot? What's that, Chase? Golf sucks. Let's never add it to the game, ever. Sounds good to me. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye! Bye! Bye. Chat. Holy fucking crap. I'm gonna delete it. Don't you dare. Don't you dare.
You assholes. You, you absolute savages. Did they really just do that? Ha <laughs> ha.